something we've done or an evil that was done to us. Is it possible to separate ourselves from this thing and erase it completely? Well, today we'll hear from Ed, a man who served two tours in Vietnam and spent his life trying to get away from the horrors of our broken world. He's here to share with us what he found in his true story on this Unshackled Daily Devotional. Post-traumatic stress syndrome left me seriously disturbed. I was 19 years old and under almost constant fire from the enemy as we defended a radio station for the Navy. My discharge was honorable under medical conditions. In other words, I had serious mental problems. Back home, my bitter hostility led to fights and many arrests for assault and battery. After bailing me out of jail ten times, my dad insisted I see a psychiatrist. I went once. By the end of two years, I'd been arrested 31 times, so I headed west. Then I hitchhiked or rode trains all over the country. Once I stayed at a rescue mission and learned about the gospel, but decided it wasn't meant for me. For a while, I dabbled in the occult and read books on witchcraft. <laughs> then one night, a drunken buddy wrecked his car and I suffered massive injuries. I almost died during surgery. Recuperating at home, I watched TV and heard a preacher expose the occult as an abomination to God. I listened to the unshackled radio drama and learned about the love of Jesus. I surrendered, asking God to save me. I called the phone number given on the radio and a counselor led me in a prayer of commitment to Christ. The Apostle Paul confesses in Romans chapter 7, verse 21, I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. He continues in verses 24 and 25, O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Friend, the truth is, the effects of sin are embedded in our flesh. On our own, we'll never be able to escape the hurts of this world, but as believers, we now have Jesus. And when we turn to Him daily and allow Him to cleanse us, we no longer have room for sin's destruction. Rather, we have the assurance that Jesus has already conquered our demons. And we can rest in Him. Will you receive this truth today? <laughs> 